651, time for the morning sprint. We're keeping an eye on whether the historic Artemis launch at the Kennedy Space Center will be delayed as crews deal with a cracked engine. You're taking a live look at the Kennedy Space Center right now. But first, let's get to our local headlines. Four people are recovering after an overnight shooting in the village of Clinton Sunday morning. This is in Rock County. Sheriff's deputies there say it happened shortly after 1230 on East Little Lane. That's near Highway 140 and Interstate 43. There's not a lot of information available right now on what exactly happened. Officers do say there is no threat to the community. All four people were taken to the hospital. They're expected to survive. The shooting is under investigation. A prison supervisor at the Racine Prison has been arrested, accused of having repeated sexual encounters with an inmate in her office. The Sheriff's Office first received allegations that a 37-year-old Racine Correctional Institution supervisor was having that inappropriate relationship with a prisoner. Investigators learned she had given the inmate a cell phone. They seized that phone, which they say support the allegations. The inmate telling investigators they've had sex between 20 to 40 times since April. She's being held at the county jail in a $1.1 million cash bond. She is not being named because she has not yet been charged. The man accused of killing six people when he drove his SUV through a Wisconsin Christmas parade had to be escorted out of court Friday. Take a look. It was all caught on camera. The commotion came shortly after Darrell Brooks fell asleep in the courtroom. He had to be woken up by his lawyers. You can see him exchanging words right here. The judge denied a motion as well to dismiss information obtained when Brooks was interrogated the day after his arrest. He's set to be tried on those homicide charges starting in October. The Sparta community is in mourning this morning after a teenager was killed in a car crash. Police say a 16-year-old exited a road near the intersection of County Highway BC and Fairway Road around 9.30 Thursday night. They determined the vehicle rolled and came to a stop in a shallow creek at the bottom of that embankment. Family and friends went looking for him after he didn't arrive at the destination. They eventually found him, calling 911. Government ending its offer to ship free at-home COVID tests this coming Friday. The Biden administration first launching that program through the COVID.gov website back in January. Three rounds of ordering tests has occurred since then for every household. The reason for its suspension, Congress hasn't provided the additional funding necessary for that program to continue. Companies that experienced unexpected booms during the pandemic now seeing unexpected busts. Peloton, its stock soared 434% as fitness enthusiasts skip the gym to exercise at home. Now shares have lost more than 90% of their value since the end of 2020. The video app Zoom, meanwhile, has seen its earnings plunge 70%. I thought it might be a fun moment to tell you that my brand new album comes out October 21st. Breaking overnight, MTV Video Music Awards. Any with Taylor Swift accepting the award for video of the year for all too well 10 minute version. In her acceptance speech, she also announced her 10th studio album. Other big winners included Harry Styles winning Album of the Year and Bad Bunny winning Artist of the Year. Hey, this Saturday, you have the chance to take in a movie? For just three bucks, the National Cinema Foundation partnering with more than 3,000 theaters nationwide for National Cinema Day. Big chains like Regal and here locally AMC are participating in the event as are smaller independent theaters. Take a look at your screen right now. That list right there includes the Dane County locations that are participating. We are watching a chance to see a stronger thunderstorm or two later on this afternoon. There's a marginal risk for severe weather across parts of the area. The greater chance of that is going to be farther to the south. 73 headed out the door right now. Mostly cloudy skies, winds out to the south and southwest at 7, and the dew points are into the upper 60s, keeping things muggy. We'll see a chance for a shower or thunderstorm this morning, along with another chance in the afternoon. We'll top out at 85. All right, Chris, thank you. Stay with us, folks. Continuing coverage of the Artemis launch and whether it's going to make history today before the window closes as crews deal with that cracked engine. Stay with News 3 now for the very latest.